This tutorial is going to teach you how to add um, custom scripts uh, that you may download or create yourself and um, there are basically a few ways to do this and I'm going to mention um, that we're going to start with learning how to um, add, add the, um, the custom script uh, in two methods. Um, let's see here, so one, this is actually an MS file and this one here is a uh, 3ds max uh, 3ds max macro script file um, this can be created from this uh, so technically you only need an MS file sometimes you may get your hands on just a straight up macro script file and uh, you don't have to go through this extra step and you can just simply copy this file and place it in your um, uh, you need to locate your 3ds max nu folder and there's a user macro script here and you would just place it in here restart 3ds max and then um, in a minute here I'll show you you can basically um, uh, load that up and find the button based on the category which here it's going to be um, fly simware um, another method is you could go to your scripts folder which is just going to be in your Autodesk 3ds Max programs folder location that should be program files yep program files and um, in your scripts you can just simply uh, copy um, Uh, that list in here and then you don't have to worry about going to your NU folder and we can have that automatically done here so let's start um, obviously now you know the shortcut for going directly from the macro script let's do it from the MS file so um, click on the wrench click on macro script click on run and it should bring you technically to your scripts folder if not go to your uh, program files into script double click on um, the MS file uh, that basically lets the um, customized uh, user interface uh, know that it is now um, active uh, but not saved. So now take the toolbar, um, open up the custom user interface, go to toolbars, go to category and locate fly simware since we had looked at the category so we know where it is and you will see my hotkey list here. Grab that and basically drag it up into one of your toolbars here your custom toolbars or an existing toolbar and um, I've already got mine dropped here and it says hotkeys so that's it it's got hotkeys now um, you should be able to restart 3ds max and uh, this um, this this will stay there uh, if it doesn't you can go to um, from my other tutorial, uh, the UI tutorial, um, my, my custom workspace, come over to manage and just hit save default state while you're already loaded on there. Or if you're in default, hit, hit save default state and that will update it as well. Um, so yeah, um, if you had uh, done the other route where you just put it directly in the macro scripts folder, um, then you wouldn't have to do this step here with the run script. You could just literally go to customize uh, user interface after restarting 3ds max and it basically will show up here uh, ready to go but it never adds the button for you it only adds it in your um, cat by category in the list here and uh, from here you customize where buttons go and stuff like that now just to make this tutorial a little bit better if you want to um, sometimes create a a custom script um, you can open up the listener and let's go ahead and just empty this out and for example um, I have a Babylon tool um, that allows me to open up my exporter and um, I don't like going through it all the time so I have a shortcut here as well uh, so how I made that was you open up the listener and you can see this code right here um, you can basically take that and drag it right here and it will create a button for you so simple as that you can right click it and change the options either um, the appearance you may not want a button you can change it to text with a tooltip uh, change a different button style um, and you can also hit edit macro script and you'll notice here it wrote its own category which the default is a drag and drop and then it put the uh, same code of line here that you see there so that's a neat trick to see if maybe you like create a box 
um, and you want to be able to have a button that just creates a box and places it in a certain location um, then you could just take that code and drag it and make a button out of it so <clears throat> I think that uh, is uh, hopefully going to help you with uh, using um, custom scripts and adding them into buttons or uh, making your own so I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please uh, click like subscribe and uh, we will see you next time bye